I'm Jack, as you can guess, Fleet's behind the camera. Hello everybody, how are we all doing? If you're new around these parts, don't forget to subscribe, like and leave us a little comment in the box below. And it's over to Jack for his tutorial on his makeup. Okay then guys, for Jack Sparrow, caption Jack Sparrow I might add. Basically, what I start with a base, which is a self tan mousse dark colour. If you can all see that guys. Right, basically, a few squirts, with a pad, so you can get all dark. Basically, what I'm going to do is basically blot it all over your face. Right, it's got it all fast. Blot it all over, make sure it's all even. Basically, to give you the sun kissed look. Put it this way, if you've been on the island for hundreds of years, obviously you're going to look a bit burnt. So basically, make sure all your tans over and clear. And the end results will be fantastic, by the way. So, there you go for the tan bit. Right, once you put the tan on, and make sure it's evenly spread. La, 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 la. Right, now that's evenly spread, we're going to number two. So what you want, basically, now you put a tan on, obviously it's wet. You're going to want some pearls. Basically, it dries your tan off. And what it is, it's just normal pearls that you get from any makeup shop. Right, it's just a bunch of pearls. And what you want to do is basically just brush, basically powder yourself. It clears, soaks all the tanning lovely and nice. Right, let's get this dude. And obviously, you don't any loose hairs hanging about. Right, let's brush it all over. Make sure it's all in. Concentrate on your cheeks if you're doing Jack Sparrow, by the way. Cheeky. Not like chipmunk cheeks, but obviously, obviously, you can see the tan difference now from one or was before. Right, and uh, once that's all set in, nicely, powder it up. We're going to stick in these on. Now, these are dangles that Jack uses. Basically, it's fake hair, and that's I'll be used out of real hair and plaited myself and put beads on. You can buy any fake hair from any shop or eBay. So, and what I use for them is basically liquid latex. That's all it is, simple li liquid latex. All right, it's probably like a pound from the shop. So what I do, liquid latex. All right, basically stick them in. Luckily, I've got my own beard, um, not a fake beard. So what I'm basically doing is sticking these dangles in my beard. All right, you got to give it a few seconds to dry, obviously. Right, to come with one. You've got to hold me basically entangled in your beard. Um, to get them out, basically, it's hot soapy water and then just come out straight away. Don't tug them out, which I've done in the past, and end up with ball patches. So, this is going to be like, there you go, some like, give me a few minutes to dry. Then, basically, same with number two, you could latex, you can get from um, Claire's accessories and things like that. So, this will be number two. Basically, stick them into your new beard. If you're looking enough to grow a moustache and beard of your own, it's so much easier than wearing a fake one. So, anyway, there's your dangles. Basically, in. Okay, guys. So, that's your dangles. Now it's starting to perform. Now, what I tend to use is just a simple waterproof eyeliner. It's, yeah, I'm the cheap Jack Sparrow. <laughs> but the effects are good. Uh, Eyeliner, basically dark in your tosh and beard, as such. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Just basically dark in your tosh up. Uh, check wood. Right, now here comes the tricky part. Eyeliner. Now, this is the tricky part. What you basically want to do, thick line under your eye and a thin line above your eye. So basically, this is what you want to do. Right, the nice part. Okay, and when that happens, bear with me, pencil sharpener. Subscribe and like and uh, give us some comments. Okay, back, one back. pencil sharpener, one eyeliner. Trick for the trade, <coughs> by the way. Right, back to your eyeliner. See, Sorry that was that well worth That was well worth the wait, I'm sure it was. Right, concentrate, do a deep eyeliner on your eyes. Right, may look a bit messy there, folks, but when it all comes together. Right, next on your eye, do a quite, I'd say about one centimetre line on your eyes. 
at least. Believe me, there's like many birthday parties and people say you've not got enough eye line on. You can never have enough eye line on. Basically, on your eyes, folks. Right. Then, above the top, or no eyes to the top, because when you put eyeshadow on, it never seems to go right to your eyelids. So, oh, 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 oh. The mirror's on the move. This is... Always, always going to brow. Not on your eyeball like I did most of the time. Be very careful using a pencil, by the way, because they can be sort of dangerous if you smack yourself in the eyeball. Yeah, do not stab yourself in the eye. With these. Right. But this is a really quick tutorial, and you'll see how easy it is to do yourself. As you can see already, eyes are a lot darker. Right, what you're going to do, grab your eye, eyes again. Right, about a one centimetre width underneath each eye. Okay, right, so you see it's already looking a bit of a difference. Now smudge it with your finger because obviously in a pirate film it's never neat. Right, now there's your eyeliner. You can see. Now with basically it's a simple eye powder. Right, simple. Just a black, dark black. Oh, no, no. And what you want to do to go over your, the top of your eyes, and so okay, and same with your eye. Basically, you're brushing your powder, powder over the top of your eye, all the way to the top of the, the brow, so to speak. And close your eyes and move across the bottom, and so and so. As you can see, eyes are a lot darker already. Now with Jack, he has a bit of soot gunpowder. So I'll put a bit of black and basically there in your cheek to raise your cheekbones out, basically a little bit. That's what I tend to do. Right, this brings your cheekbones because you can notice Jack. You've got like cheap high cheekbones. So basically a hollow in your face. Put a bit of black and I use a bit of pink. Just give you a rosy cheek effect. Rub it in well. I say rub it in well. I then folks, that is next time you'll see me, you'll see me with the wig on and you'll see the whole finished look. So I shall see you in five. Thank you. Well, as you can see, the wig is on there. That is how quick you can look make yourself look like Captain Jack Sparrow on the budget. No expensive makeup, no max factor. This is raw, this is Fleet Jack Live showing you the Jack Sparrow makeup tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel, please like it. Uh, we'll be online gaming, obviously, on there. Uh, the more videos, I'm Eagle. If you don't know what I'm Eagle is, it's basically a chat roulette. Um, please join us for more videos. And basically, what you do, once you've got your wig on, as you can see, looks a whole lot better. You can always top yourself up with some eyeliner, make it a little bit thicker in places or tone it down more there you go thank you for watching hope you like and subscribe please comment any advice um it was live it was done quick as you can see the minor pencil sharpener error but uh that's what you get with us uh, hope you enjoy take care jack out bye Pirates had infected the seas for generations.